The art of media manipulation, that's the topic of today's video. Hi, I'm Ali Richards. Whether used to promote the agendas of corporate interests, religious groups, or political movements, media manipulation is an effective tool in controlling the behavior of a target audience. In the modern era, the use of propaganda and misinformation has become so widespread that it is now the new normal in American society. According to the Gallup polling company, Americans' trust in popular media is at the lowest point in over 40 years. In terms of particular news sources, the Wall Street Journal is consistently rated the most trusted news organization among all groups surveyed. It's sometimes hard to tell truth from fiction anymore, and in a sense, every source of information has some type of bias built in. If that's the case, there has to be some way to navigate through the massive amounts of information that the average person is bombarded with on a daily basis. Now, what are some of the more popular techniques that the mass media uses to manipulate the public? We will go through a few of those one by one. First up, constant repetition. Is that business really having a sale? Because they repeat it over and over and over again. Maybe the prices are marked up artificially to make it appear as if the discount is greater than it really is. Especially in cases where you feel pressured to make a purchase, it's a good idea to maintain a level head and do a little bit of research before buying expensive products. Of course, if you already know what an item of similar quality would cost otherwise, then you could very well be making a good investment. Knowledge is power in the repetition game, and that depends on you. Secondly, bandwagon appeal and groupthink. Well, everybody's doing it. We've all heard that simple statement when we were teenagers, but it's just as powerful of a motive for action all throughout our lives. That same theme is often presented in many creative ways. Everybody's voting for John, or I can't believe you don't own this. Human beings generally feel uncomfortable going against the crowd. If you can convince people that they are out of touch with the rest of society, that can be an effective way to make someone change their behavior in line with your goals. Third, powerful images and video. In 2016, heartbreaking images of children affected by the civil war in Syria evoked passionate debate about the American response. In fact, the war had been going on for more than five years before some people became involved in the discussion. Over tens of thousands of civilians had already died, but because the tragedies were so distant, the average person simply was not emotionally affected. Well-publicized shootings have the same effect. Looking at the evidence, the areas where shootings are most common are hardly covered by the national media as compared to an interracial police shooting or a crazy gunman on the loose. For example, in 2015, there were almost 3,000 shootings in Chicago alone whereas New York City had 1,000. New York City, however, is almost four times the size of Chicago. To someone ignorant of those facts, the result is usually increased controversy surrounding a relatively small portion of shootings in general. Fourth, demonization and personal attacks. This is one of the easier methods of propaganda because all it requires is to attack a person or group's morality without responding to the substance of their arguments. Since emotions and logic are often at odds, if one side can effectively smear the character of the other, their ideas can quickly be marginalized or rejected, even if they are valid. It's difficult to combat this type of vilification since a mere accusation can destroy a person's reputation. Be on the lookout for this style of assault, particularly in political life, where it is most common. The fifth popular technique of manipulation is mass media hype. We all know that any story that generates high ratings will often be covered far more than it is justified. After major national coverage of the Ebola virus in 2014, a grand total of four cases in the entire United States have been diagnosed. Kim Kardashian and, at one point, Lady Gaga were the go-to media darlings with every minor detail of their lives being proclaimed as breaking news. The media do this firstly because it's cheaper to report on those topics, but also because there is a demand for this type of fluff. Journalism is not always glamorous, and many stories may be important but not necessarily interesting. Celebrity gossip and other pop culture stories provide a bump in ratings without getting any constituency too angry at the news outlet. Natural disasters, controversial statements, sex scandals, and hot-button topics like race or violence can all be sensationalized to play upon the emotions of the public. 
A media company may hype a race story for ideological purposes or even to attack a political candidate they oppose. The chairman of the CBS television network once openly stated that Donald Trump was good for business. The tangible proof of such statements is significantly increased ad profits for news outlets that covered his every move throughout the campaign. Well, those are just a few of the examples of how the media can manipulate coverage of stories to achieve the impact they desire. What other techniques have you observed? Let us know in the comments below.